Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about the brand new Microsoft Teams and planner integration for this year 2024. Are we going to say goodbye to Task by Planner? Let's talk about that. So they just made an announcement that at the start of 2024 I don't have a specific date for you at the moment of recording this video, but they are going to say goodbye to Task by Planner and hello to Microsoft Planner inside of Microsoft Teams. So some of you guys might know of the Microsoft Planner application itself. I have a few videos which I will link in the description about Planner specifically, uh, but they are now going to fully integrate Microsoft Planner into Microsoft Teams. So previously we had we have many, many videos actually on task by planner, right? Inside of Microsoft Teams. Well, now that is no longer a thing. So now it is just called planner. So when you are pulling up your uh, Microsoft Teams, you can see on the tabs on the side, it's now going to be called planner. You're going to have new features inside of here, which I am very excited to share with you guys because I know I'm a huge advocate of actually using the planners application because of all of the um, features that you get inside of there that were not previously integrated inside of Microsoft Teams. But now in 2024, they will be integrated. So let's talk about some of those features. When you are inside Microsoft Planner, inside Microsoft Teams, you're gonna have a few tabs. You're gonna have my day, my tasks, and my plans. My day actually incorporates with um, Outlook and we have a video talking about how it integrates into Microsoft Outlook. Um, what this is, is basically it's taking the tasks that are due that day or any that you add manually to your my day, which is just like a section that is supposed to get done that day. Whereas the my task is just a big list of many tasks that you have to do, which could be based upon your week, could be based upon your month, could be based upon your year, depending on how you um, manage it yourself. So you've got my day, my tasks, and then you've got my plans. This is new. Um, you can now access multiple different plans inside of this one area. So. Um, you can check out plans that are connected to Teams channels or even your personal ones. So when you click on my plans, you've got the tabs at the top and you've got shared, personal, pinned, and my teams. So this is pretty cool because, you know, shared is obviously ones that are shared outside to other people. Then you've got personal that are only seen by you. Then you've got pinned, which are your important ones that you've decided to pin. And then you've got my teams, which is pretty cool because that is a tab just specifically for plans that are connected to your teams. This is where it starts to get a little bit interesting. So you've got a few options of plans um, that you can pick from. So they've got this new thing called a sprint plan where you can choose to, um, use a plan in a sprint view. Um, basically, it's a way to track your progress with your team based upon sprints or moves forward. Um, I'm not sure how much we're really gonna use this, but maybe that is something that could be interesting to you guys. Um, and then you've also got the regular view, which is the board view um, that was always there. You've also got goals that you can set for your team. So you can track your progress, not based upon tasks, but based upon goals. So this could be very useful uh, to many companies that have a different way of um, mapping out their year or their quarter. Um, I know we have quarterly goals, um, so this will be super fun for us to use. So it also looks like the new planner is what they call scalable. So you can use Power BI um, in configurable workflows uh, through Power Automate um, and make sure that basically there's nothing that these tasks can't track. Um, so it says it also integrates with Microsoft uh, goals 
uh, connecting to your objectives and key results. So it seems like they are giving you way more opportunities for like timelines and whatnot for your goals and your tasks. Um, you can uh, separate the amount of time that each uh, individual is working on a task, when the start, when the finish was for each individual task. It looks like they're also really pushing Copilot, um, which is their AI um, and tracking you know how many tasks you normally do per day what what seems to be things that you write about a lot your tasks that you do often um it seems like they're they're really trying to uh push the opportunity for ai to help you out with your task building next something that i think is really cool if you don't know what microsoft loop is you should really check it out. We have a video that I'll link in the description about it. Um, this is just basically a place that you can just dump any data in any sort of configuration uh, for your team. So like if something that would be very helpful for your team would be if you had your calendar and your um, planner and your notes all right next to each other uh, Microsoft Loop will allow you to create that um, workspace, they call it, um, and configure it exactly how you would like to view um, everything inside of Microsoft. So with that Microsoft Loop, you can now integrate your planners or your plans inside of your um, workspace. So this is definitely going to be very helpful um, and it looks like it is a lot um, better than the previous version of this so I'm excited to test this out as well again right now all I have for the rollout timeline is it says here in this article that it's early of 2024 so I'm not exactly sure when it is going to um, roll out, but it says that the current version again is tasked by planner and to do's and it is now going to be renamed to planner and so it is going to be fully integrated with the Microsoft planner application and then um, later on in 2024 they say that they are going to release the web version of it uh, so right now we are looking for more specific dates coming up but these are things that um, I felt like were important to cover and share with you guys because if you're like me you you use task by planner every day on your daily work schedule um, and your daily tasks so this is something that is really going to change and affect you uh, so I am making this video for you guys to sort of prepare yourselves and your teams for this new change coming um, this year so make sure to you know prep your uh teams, your tasks, your plans for this new change, which again is not crazy different, but it definitely is different. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this new planner inside of Microsoft Teams, please let me know in the comments down below. I will do my absolute best to answer as much as I can, but also maybe some people in this community could answer the question better than even I could. So make sure to uh, put your questions down at the bottom uh, so that we can help each other and learn from each other. And then um, make sure to like this video if you wanna hear more about Microsoft Planner once it is fully released. I can make a video um, completely demoing it for you guys. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified anytime we upload a new video. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!